Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going live this morning. Uh, the temperature's a little bit down. I'm sure as you can see, let me see if I can get this to pan right. We got some clouds, just a little bit of an overcast day. Maybe some storms rolling in later, later on this evening. Not sure. But I'm sure as you can see by the title, we're going to be looking at Dodges, a Ram, and the Lincoln. So starting off, I just want to show you guys, I have a 2018 Dodge Durango. Now this is going to be a GT trim level. So what that means is uh, you're going to get some leather interior. This is going to have the 3.6 Pentastar six cylinder leather interior push button start get these nice blacked out rims if I can get this to spin for you right absolutely gorgeous come on back to me there it is so that's one vehicle that I have in particular, going to be an eight passenger with just over 33,000 miles on it. Coming down, I also have it available in a limited as well. Now this is going to be a 2016 trim level, or I apologize, year, and a limited trim level. So again, what that's going to mean for you guys is that push button start. Nice chromed out accessories, that nice little trim that goes down along the side. And also in the front, fog lights. Bigger rims. This one in particular is going to have those vent guards for you already installed. Got your rails as well. And then you have that little hideaway where your hitch is located also. This one in particular is gonna have the sensors because it is that limited trim level. So when you're backing up and using that backup camera, it'll go ahead and start beeping for you just to let you know that an obstacle is close. Moving on down, my last Dodge Durango that I have. Now this one, I, I took the liberty of grabbing the keys because I wanted to, to spotlight this one in particular. Now this is a Citadel trim level. So what that means to you is 2017 Hemi engine. This is a Carfax one owner vehicle and it's right at just over 33,000. So with this, you're gonna get that upgraded leather interior, push button start, power seats. You have that dial where you can shift it into drive. And this is gonna come with that eight speed automatic transmission. You have your vents in the back, along with those heated seats as well. Definitely enough space for everybody. And this is gonna be that bench. So essentially you're picking up an extra seat. You're able to lay that down as well. Everybody seems to have enough space in this vehicle, hands down. Everybody's got their own little, little hideaway. And then as well, you also have that inclusion of that panoramic sunroof as well. And your controls are gonna be hidden right up top in the roof of the vehicle. Oh, we got some people joining us. Everybody's upside down there. Let me see if I can spin this around. How are you guys? John, nice to see you, Ryan. Excellent. Rick, how are you, buddy? Fantastic to see you. I'm going to try and go through everybody. If I miss you, I apologize. Andrew, how are you? And I'm sure as you guys could see, you have that power lift gate. So 
uh, quite honestly, you have the access to do that on the key or uh, just up underneath that lip. As you saw, it's just that one touch and you're able to lift that up. You guys can take a look and see those dual chrome exhausts. Now, trust me, this is going to be the Hemi. So that's a 5.7 um, hemispherical. Go ahead and look that one up. So uh, you have your, your access right here. Uh, to go ahead and lower that power lift gate and then you also have some storage underneath along with that trailer hitch as well and it's nice and quiet nice and smooth you can feel uh, the quality in that in this Dodge Durango just that Citadel package itself they've spared nothing to bring this vehicle to you uh, I remember whenever this vehicle first came out uh, I was with Dodge at the time, Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Uh, now this one in particular is a Carfax one owner. So what that's gonna mean for you, um, essentially we have service records available for it. Now also with Carfax specifically, because this vehicle has the Carfax pulled on it, uh, let's say you come to find there's been some damage to the vehicle or uh, it's a lemon right or <laughs> the old tricky somebody rolled back the odometer or let's say um, the engines have been replaced the CPU or the computer inside the vehicle says one odometer reading but the tax says another reading that is an issue so if you ever come to find that you have an issue like that um, Carfax, what they'll do is, is they'll physically buy that vehicle back off of you. Um, it's part of their Carfax buyback guarantee. You can further investigate that, I'm sure, at their website. But again, um, with the Carfax on the vehicles, it's kind of hard uh, to hide anything on that car. Now we're making our way down to one of my personal favorites, 2017. Ram 2500 and guys this is gorgeous they have it decked out in a lot of chrome you have your sensors right up front take a look I'll try and go slow enough for you guys I'm going backwards so forgive me on the panning this is going to have that Cummings turbo diesel in it now the neat thing about this turbo diesel, not sure if you guys with traditional diesel engines, I'm sure you'll be able to testify. You have what's called a glow plug on that engine. And what you have to do in the, especially whenever it gets colder out, you have to give it a couple seconds to heat up uh, so you're able to, to start that engine. What Dodge has done is, is they actually, they use compressed air guys believe it or not there's there's no glow plugs right glow plugs essentially on this vehicle it's all compressed air it's really really neat process how it works uh, you compress the air really really fast and guess what you get heat right Ryan thank you for just joining us um, just a beautiful vehicle beautiful vehicle we'll go ahead and take a look inside of this so this one's gonna come with that proximity key you also have your tow mirrors. Let me see if I can do that one-handed, right? So you're able to pull those out. Power seats on both sides. You have that beautiful, beautiful wood trim. That Laramie badge right up front. Let's see if I can get that power seat for you guys. Just a gorgeous vehicle. Take a look at this seat. You have it stamped there as well. Now what you're able to do with this Dodge in particular, you have your center console. You're able to lift that up and go ahead and create a bench seat in the front. So quite honestly, you could carry six passengers if you'd like. You have your AC outlet right up front. That's 115 volt. USB chargers up front see if we can get this centered heated steering wheel heated seats ventilated seats you have your exhaust brake 
tow haul mode, traction control. And this guy even has that trailer brake integrated into the dash. You have your select four wheel drive with the auto hubs. Let's see if we can get you to take a look at this steering wheel, how they have everything nice and set up in your peripheral. But Dodge has done an excellent job on the interior of this truck. It just looks amazing. It just has a, a beautiful monochromatic feel to it. Nice, elegant wood trim. Let's see if we can pop this, this diesel here for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm, or hear what I'm talking about when it comes to starting up the vehicle. Balance myself. And this one has 19,171 miles on it. And you saw how quick that was able to start up, right guys? It's because of that compressed air. Have a look at this. Beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment here. 6.7 Cummings turbo diesel again. nice and smooth I mean this vehicle is practically brand new I don't see any any nicks any dings any potential starts of rust got the running boards right down there in the corner still clean show you guys up underneath this beast right Exhaust. Just a beautiful vehicle. So last but not least, let's go ahead and tuck this up. And I want to remind you guys, number one, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll know whenever I'm going live. Number two, if you want to set up a test drive, just call. Call 304-848-6000. You can set up a test drive with anybody. We have a climate control delivery bay. So we pull the vehicle in for you. Have it started up, have it opened up. There's enough space so you can walk around, take a look at it. Especially looking at the vehicle underneath the lights. That'll that'll bring out any imperfections in the paint. Um, and you're gonna stay dry, you're gonna stay comfortable, right? It's AC, it's heated, it's gorgeous. Love the delivery bay. So, last but not least, right? We had Dodges, <laughs> a Ram, and how about my Lincoln? Now this is a extremely special Lincoln, and I wanna tell you guys why. So this is a Lincoln, Continental as you can see This one in particular is turbocharged 2.7 and let's double check. I want to say it's twin Nice Lincoln badging you have those backup sensors as well dual exhaust nice blacked out rims gives it that nice touch spin you guys around here take a look inside beautiful wood wood graining I'm gonna show you guys this so right here on the Lincoln is where you control the seat and if you have not had the pleasure of sitting in a Lincoln seat let me tell you what <laughs> come down I'll let you sit in it you have your trunk pop right here guys that's your door door pop for your door exit which is really really neat power folding mirrors leather interior and you can see the way that this seat 
is designed. It just, it contours your entire body. Just an amazing design. Let's see if I can spin it around for the steering wheel. Radio controls, cruise controls, navigation controls. Go ahead and pop the hood here. Spin you guys back around. <laughs> Backup camera. So again, that 2.7 with it being turbocharged the way that it is, that GT DI. Again, if memory serves me correct. <laughs> Gotta love the abbreviations. Tons of them. It saves time, I guess. That's what they say, right? So gorgeous engine, nice and clean. Unfortunately for you guys, they do take all that plastic and, and cover it up. And that's just to keep your dust and other fod or foreign objects out. Quick vehicle. Luxury at its finest in the Lincoln Continental. Now this one in particular is a select. So, you have some additional upgrades with it, all right? This is a 2017. Lee Watson, I just saw you guys join. How are you? Josh, rock and roll, buddy. Semper Fi. You have your cruise control, and that's going to be adaptive for you. You can see that camera right there behind. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it in that tent. I'm going to try and zoom in for you. Right there up above, those are your, you guessed it, your rain-sensitive wipers. That's where that sensor is for you guys. So what ends up happening in this vehicle, let's say you're driving down the road, Mack truck comes and splashes water up against the windshield. Boom, they turn on automatically. Trust me. <laughs> Sounds crazy. But it happens. It's awesome, awesome whenever it does because, you know, especially whenever you get that water shield that comes right in front of you, boom, it just happens. Or you can turn them on manually. It's totally up to you. But again, just want to show you guys inside this layout. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite vehicles on the lot. I'm sure you can see why. And guys, we have this bad boy priced right. panoramic roof plenty of space for everybody in the rear as well and guys last but not least what would a Lincoln be without a huge huge trunk Nice little lower loading lip. See those lights in the back as well. Those are going to come on for you automatically. And I'll show you guys this as well. You take a look at the hinges on this Lincoln. They're actually covered up, right? So that just adds to the durability. Uh, it adds to the smoothness of the opening and shutting. Bobby, how are you, sir? And then you're able to access that trunk or your spare in the trunk as well. Panoramic roof. And guys, this has, this is a steel. This is a lease turn in just, just over 54,000 miles on it. This vehicle brand new, if memory serves me, I'm gonna say you're gonna pay anywhere in the high 40s to 50s depending on how you have it option but this one is top of the line and ladies and gentlemen let me promise you when I talk about the pricing on these vehicles it's updated daily so essentially what we're doing is is we're scouring the market to get you the best deal possible no matter what let me see if I can spin you guys around here. I'm going to try and go left-handed. 
Uh, it won't let me. That's all right. I apologize about that. Mike. Mike. Right on, buddy. How are you, man? That's Mountaineer Mike. Great to see you, buddy. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, we do have the 0% financing that's been unveiled on my Hyundai Tucson's. That's going to be for 72 months, ladies and gentlemen. So, free money. 0% has also been introduced on my Santa Fe's as well. Again, that's going to be for 72 months. Now, if there is any vehicle that you see, please don't hesitate to call. You can call or text 304-997-1090. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you can get a notification whenever I do go live. And I know everybody wanted to see one of these. Gorgeous WRX. Spin you guys around. I wanted you to take a look at these rims. Gorgeous vehicle. Now I have the WRX available in a couple different colors itself. And trim levels. Take a look at my black and my red. quick little vehicles. You also have that available in the STI trim. And let me tell you what, that STI will straight fly. Absolutely. While we're walking, I'll just go ahead and show you some of the cross tracks. Come on. Here we go. So let's see if we can go on this other side and cut through. Go ahead and just show you what I'm looking at beautiful vehicle that's my Subaru BRZ again for you guys that didn't catch the walk around yesterday this is that vehicle collaboration between Toyota and Subaru Toyota has a similar model called the 86 used to be called the FRS I will say I think Subaru's is a little bit more aggressive you have those beautiful, beautiful Brembo brakes. Front and rear. Nice little fin on the back. Just an aggressive little car. So this is going to have a 2.0 four-cylinder. And this naturally aspired. So what you're able to do is you're able to customize this vehicle however you'd like. You want to make it turbocharged? That's fine. Get the turbo. Get the intercooler. Let's do it. You want to add just straight horse, that's fine. You can. You're able to do so. Now, you do have to watch your vehicle modifications because you might end up messing with your warranty. So, you definitely want to check with your manufacturer before you start tinkering with anything. Usually, you're kind of safe with a cold air intake, something like that. But after your warranty, <laughs> you can do pretty much whatever you want. So we're walking past my Subaru Foresters right now. I have these just about in every trim, every single color that you could think of. And we can't forget about the Subaru Impreza. I drive one personally myself. It's a 2012. <laughs> Has 150,000 miles on it. I drive it. It's my daily driver. I've had to replace uh, wheel bearings in the back, which is understandable. I've had to replace the clutch, which is understandable. Um, oil changes, tire rotations, transmission and diff fluid changes. That's it, guys. Ton of miles. It still feels pretty similar to the day that I bought it. But durability comes with the Subaru name tried and true right around the 50s 1952 right airplane engines is what they originally started out as and they're just so darn reliable 
tried and true. Subaru has unveiled 0.9% financing on your Subaru Impreza. I have 3.49% financing on your Subaru Forester. 0% financing on the Legacy and on the Subaru Outback. Which those are my Legacies right in that back row. If you want to keep track of them while we're walking. I have the largest inventory to select from, guys. If you're looking for the best deal, if you're looking for transparency, if you're looking for honesty, if you're looking for a good time, you don't want to be out there walking around sweating. You're sitting inside the showroom. Guys, I know where everything is on this lot. I know where everything's located. Trust me, I'll pull up for you. That's easy. That's very simple. We're going to be walking past my climate controlled delivery bay right there for you. So rain, sleet, snow. We're going to be able to take care of you guys. Go past my Subaru Outbacks again. And what I'm doing is I'm making my way down to the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. If you haven't had the opportunity to see this vehicle, oh no, somebody has it out on a test drive. It happens, guys. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a look at the 2019 Subaru Ascent. Now, this is what I can tell you. Personally, I've sold a 2020 Ascent. So what that means is I have extra rebates and discounts <laughs> available on my 2019s. And if you haven't seen a touring trim level Subaru scent, I'd love to show you. Let's take a look. So you have that nice Java brown interior, push button start, Harman Kardon speakers. Now in this particular vehicle, this one's gonna have your captain's chairs in the back. So we take a look, you're able to fold those down as you can see. Also have your vent shades as well. Roof rack rails, panoramic, panoramic moonroof, I apologize. And again, this is that touring trim level. You have your fascia that hides that trailer hitch and being dual exhaust. This one is turbocharged, it's a four cylinder. So you're gonna be able to get better gas mileage. And there's not turbo lag with this, which is quite amazing. Subaru's done an amazing job as far as the torque to horsepower ratio. And if you guys are unfamiliar with that, your horsepower is what's going to get you going that torque it's what's going to push you through or or keep you going essentially to get you up over but quite an amazing job they've done with this you go ahead and tuck this back up so again guys i just wanted to thank you for joining me i apologize for not having the 2020 palisade ready for you but it was out on a test drive so again if you'd like to schedule a test drive all you'd have to do is call 304-848-6000 that's going to be the showroom right there you can call or text 304-997-1090 you can look me up on facebook or instagram at go see keith remember Keep thinking Jenkins and let me take care of the rest.